Now this question that is question 145 which is based on uh, the chapter uh, circular motion dynamics. Here it is uh, given to you that there is a wheel which is having a linear velocity. You have to find out the average torque. So torque simply you can use the formula I alpha, is not it? Torque is I alpha. So they want the average torque so you can modify this expression I into change in omega and time interval which can be given to you. Now they have not given you the angular speed rather they have given you the linear speed and radius. So you know that V is equal to omega R. So I can simply modify this expression as V upon R and this T is there. So torque is to be calculated using this formula. Moment of inertia, the velocity which has been given, radius and time. You can see linear velocity has been given 54 that has to be converted into meter per second that will be 15, is not it? And then uh, radius is given to you, you can see radius is 0.45 that you can substitute here. And uh, the moment of inertia has been given i and the time also is given 15 seconds. So if you substitute all of them, you will be getting the value 6.66. This is the average torque that will be developed. So we will be marking answer 2 for this particular question 145. Now switch over to next question that is 146. Now in this uh, next question that is question 146 which is based on torque is equal to mu cross b. This is a formula you will be using in this particular expression or you can say mu b sin theta. The main idea behind this question is that angle what is to be taken here. You see they have given you the dimension length is so much and width is so much. So you see mu is basically current into area is not it b sin theta current has been given to you for area you can say length into width b sin theta this is the total formula you can have this is a torque they are saying length and width given number of tons also has been given so number of tons can also be multiplied to this 50 tons has been given strength of the magnetic field has been given to you 0 0.2 0 0.2 you can mention here you understand this? strength of the magnetic field has been given Current value has been given 2 ampere that also can be substituted. Now you see the plane of the coil is inclined at an angle 30 degree with the magnetic field. However, the angle which you are supposed to substitute here is not 30 degree rather 60 degree because we have to calculate the angle between the perpendicular to the plane and the magnetic field. So this is the only care you have to make. You will be substituting theta is equal to 60 degree and ultimately you will be getting the torque. You will be getting the correct answer as 0.2 Newton meter that will be the answer to question 146. Switch over to next question that is 147.